Welcome to My Long Island TV. From Manhasset to Montauk, we have traveled our communities to bring you the following events. I'm your host, Waldo Cabrera. My Long Island TV starts now. I'm Dr. John Giuliano. I'm a chiropractor here in Belmore. We're here today to talk about the backpacks with children as they enter back to school. Um, the weights and the changes with the amount of books that are in the bags, the laptops, uh, and some of the problems it's causing to them musculoskeletal wise. All the studies right now are talking about most of the back injuries or pains that come with association of backpacks is usually short term. Obviously if they're doing it for years and years and years there could be some issue about uh, causing some long-term problems or speeding up the degenerative process in the spine. When you're looking at the studies, they start to try to do some kind of mathematical equation as how much weight a child should have in their backpack. In most studies, you're looking at about 10 to 15% of the child's body weight. So what we have here is we have two backpacks. Uh, the black backpack is uh, 17 pounds. It's a regular standard backpack you see most kids using. The other one is a Cairo pack by Samsonite. It's a little bit more of an ergonomic backpack. First thing we're going to have to Ava do is kind of pick up the backpack and put it on. That was a little bit of a struggle, huh? Okay, well first thing we want to address is the way she picked up off the floor. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to just kind of squat down like that with your legs and I want you to put the backpack in your arm and get it on your shoulder and now stand up. Using a little bit more of the weights, she's not bending over and causing herself to kind of bend at the waist and pick up. She bent and used her legs to pick up the bag. Now even though this bag is 17 pounds, she was able to get it up, but when you turn to the side, you can see how she's kind of struggling with it. Normally we want a backpack to be positioned a little bit more like this and a little tighter to the head. But at 17 pounds, if, even if we have it packed up this way, when Ava stands up straight, she kind of falls back from the weight itself. It's just a little too much for a 75 pound girl. The red bag being a Cairo pack, this is about a 10 pound bag. Right immediately when she gets this backpack on, you can see that this backpack sits a lot higher in her back. It's about our waist level, a little bit above it. We also have nice padded straps here, about two inches. She has a chest band here, which will now help redistribute the weight and a waist back. The belt actually takes the backpack's weight and distributes it from her chest to her shoulders to her waist. If she turns to the side, you can see how much higher this is. Now Ava is now standing perfectly positioned, normal curve in the neck, normal curve in the back, and this hard back kind of contours to her spine and allows it to sit in a more proper manner. Another thing that you see a lot of children doing is the one arm. They'll grab a backpack and sling it over one of their arms. If Ava could do that, okay. Now if you watch Ava now, even though the backpack's been a little bit lightened up from what it was before, she's still sitting there with the weight on one shoulder. This causes her upper body to twerk in this fashion, if we exaggerate it, and to compensate so she doesn't fall over to the right, her body now has this curvature in here. Now this backpack also, even though I strapped it all the way down, is still sitting a little bit low. This is an inappropriate backpack for a child of her size. She might want to get a smaller one. You want to look for a backpack, the smallest one that you can find that fits her needs. You don't need to have something that's going to take you to the Adirondacks. Another thing that the parents can also do is have the child clean out the backpack. You know, I know in my kids that you can go through that backpack and three weeks later you find food, you find bottles of water, you find stuff they don't need, you find uh, books, you find just garbage. And you, every once a week you should just kind of empty that backpack out.